Okay, lecture four is about organizing styles. Style is uh, nothing but a predefined combination of fonts, color, and sizes that you can apply within your document. Styles can help your documents achieve a more professional appearance. Okay, so that's really what styles are all about. It's just a unique combination of fonts, styles, shapes, colors, and, and, and so forth. Style sets, uh, which we will later look at in subsequent lectures, include a combination of headings, paragraph styles. So it's a little more advanced than just simply a style itself. Okay, so it's, it's a group, it's a combination of titles, uh, headings, paragraph, fonts, the way you want your document uh, to look like. Okay, so you can create sets. So we'll, we'll look at sets later, but this lecture tutorial is, is to show you how to create a style, how to modify it, how to delete it, and how it can make you uh, more productive. We'll also look at the inspector feature in Word when we're working with styles, how to organize styles, and how to import, export, and copy styles from one template to the other. So a little more advanced features regarding styles, and I'm sure uh, some of these areas will be very, very helpful. So you specify which styles basically are displayed in the styles gallery, and that's how Word arranges styles in the styles pane, are the two ways you can organize your styles. So for instance, if you need to work with within your st style panes option dialog box you can select an option for the group of style word displays in the style pane or you can display only set of recommended styles styles currently in use and they're available in document or all the styles that you want to take a look at you can also select a setting for how the list of styles is sorted for example you can list the styles alphabetically or uh, by type or by font or simply by ranking within the list of recommended styles. By default, however, the style pane shows recommended styles and sorts them as recommended. And the checkboxes in the select formatting uh, to show a style option uh, determines whether paragraph, font, and list formats appear in your style pane or not. So for example, if you select font formatting, the styles pane displays only those entries for the font colors used in the document. They show next Heading when previous level is used, checkbox is selected by default. This setting specifies uh, when Word, uh, whether Word will include entries for the subheadings in the style pane when the heading above uh, that level is used. So for instance, uh, if you use the heading 2 or heading 3 style in a document, Word shows that heading 3 style in the styles pane. And lastly, within this window, um, you can see two options on the bottom, uh, which are which is only in this document or new document based on this template. What this means is, if you need, if you click on new document based on this template, is required, or if you want to apply the settings you specify in the style pane option dialog box to other documents that you create within the current template. In the style group up on the ribbon area, is where styles are located. And notice on the bottom right hand side corner, there's a little arrow, drop down arrow. You can click on that to give you a dialog box regarding styles. There's also a shortcut. You can go to your styles organizer by clicking Alt, Control, Shift, and S. Okay, so we'll take a look at shortcuts and I'll give you a whole list of shortcuts later on uh, in this course. But for right now, let's work with styles. So we click on the little drop down arrow and it brings up our style window which displays all the styles that we have uh, at this point. Notice on the bottom we have a few options. Uh, we can uh, either show preview or we can disable linked styles if we have link styles. We can disable them so we can identify and isolate single styles. And secondly, a couple of other options. We have an options uh, link here regarding styles. Brings up the style pane options for us. So this tells us that the select styles to show, which is generally the recommended by default again, and then select how list is sorted. So if I need to, for example, see uh, which styles are currently in use within this document, I can click on in use, or I can uh, take a look at uh, in current document only, or I can list all the styles that I would like to see. And I can also sort it the way I want, whether I want to see the alphabetical list, or by font type or based on paragraph formatting 
file formatting, bullet number formatting, and so forth. So you can identify and work with options uh, within the style pane options. So once I click on manage style, it brings me in this dialog box where I can manage all the styles. Um, I can also create a new style by clicking on the new style. And here I can give the style a name. So for example, if I need to name this playdesk formatting, the style type, in other words, this particular uh, style name will apply to which style type, whether I'm interested in formatting paragraphs, characters, linked paragraph and character, table, list. So for instance, if I'm interested in creating the style that relates to tables only, um, I can click on the style type table and it will display a preview so I can take a look at the changes that I made uh, to this table. Similarly, if I choose paragraph, then any paragraph that I select within my document, this style will apply to that particular paragraph only. So let's say I want a paragraph. Uh, I would like my paragraph to be in Times New Roman in font 12 size, and I want it to be underlined. So once I've selected my options, my editing options for my paragraph, on the bottom notice I can add to the styles gallery. So in other words, this name will be added to the style gallery here for future use. I can have it automatically update, which will automatically up set it to automatically update and show it in the styles gallery. And lastly, I can have an option where I'm creating this style, which is specifically based on this document only, or I'm creating a new document based on this template. So if I'm uh, working within a template and I'm creating a style, then any new subsequent documents that I create based on that template would have the style option. So in this list, you will see that style option. Otherwise, this, will, this style option will only apply to this particular document. Here are some additional format options that I can pick. For instance, I can click on paragraph and I need this paragraph to be, let's say, left indented, okay, uh, about, let's say, one inch. And I want this to be right indented also to be one inch. So here again I can see the preview. Okay. So using this option I can select any of these uh, editing features. I can change, I can create borders around the paragraph. So if I need a border for example. Okay. So listen, so once I'm done with the editing features of how I want my paragraph to look like within this style that I'm creating and I've added this style to the styles gallery. I can and I've applied only in this document. Okay, so I click OK, and notice here is my style. And once I've created the style, it lists the style in the styles window and it shows me the details of the formatting. So the type of font that I'm, I'm using is 12 point. I'm using underline and the paragraph indentation also. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a paragraph so we can see how we can apply this style. So I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to open my original document, and that's the same document that we've been using in earlier uh, tutorials. From this document, and I'm going to bring it and paste it in this document. Okay, so let's see how we can apply. So we have uh, created this style, and here's my paragraph that I like to apply this style to. Notice if I highlight the paragraph and I click on my style, it will automatically apply the style that I created earlier. So if you're working with large documents or you have quotations, for example, within your documents, you can create a style uh, within a particular document or based on a template. And then you can simply select the paragraph, click on the style, and boom, you have the style ready. So it saves you a lot of time as opposed to working with these quotation individually and trying to format it, underline it, create a box around it, that's going to take a lot of time. So style gives you a faster way of working and that's the whole idea of uh, working with advanced features in, in Word 2013 is because 
we want to know all these features so that we can enhance our productivity and work better. Okay, so we've seen how to create a style. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my manage styles. Um, and here again, I can see the style that I've created. I can modify it. So if I'm not uh, happy with the style or if I need to change some of the formatting, I can simply click on modify and change it. Or I can delete the style. Here's a, a cool feature, the import export, okay? Uh, let's take a look at this. So the within the styles manager window, I click on import export and it brings me the organizer window where I have a list of styles. And then I can apply the style to a certain template. Okay? So for example, if I need to apply this style that I've created, and I can copy it to the normal.m template, which is the default template in Word, um, I've simply added it to the Word normal template, which means that every time I open Word 2013, I'm going to have this style that I've created as part of the styles window. And it's going to show up whenever I look at styles within my default normal template. Okay, so it, it is as easy as uh, just going to the import export and simply copying the style uh, within your normal template, or you can pick up any template, close the file, select the template that you wish to save this style in, and boom, you're done. Okay, so I'm just going to copy it here in the normal template, and I'm going to close it. So we're having fun, right? Okay, with styles, great. Uh, let's go to our style inspector. Uh, this really is nothing but shows you what type of style you're using, what does this style entail. You can uh, reset the normal paragraph style, you can clear the paragraph formatting. The upper half of the style inspector talks about the paragraph formatting, and the lower part is about text level formatting. So for instance, if I need to change, if I change the underlying text to italic, okay, and notice the, any difference between the style inspector, as soon as I hit italic, the paragraph formatting changes, okay, the heading changes. Nothing happens to the bottom because the underlying italic is a text level feature, okay. So here, my default paragraph font is currently set to none. Okay, so I can clear the font here. I can also create a new style from this window. And here's an important thing that I want to talk about, which is reveal formatting, a very powerful feature. Notice how we got to this reveal formatting. Uh, we went to style, then we went to reveal inspector, uh, style inspector, and then within style inspector, there's an option called reveal formatting. Okay. So reveal formatting simply tells you everything that you need to know about this particular style formatting. So it tells you all details, for example, what kind of font are you using, language, paragraph style, the alignment, indentation, and so forth. The benefit of using reveal formatting is you can compare this style to another selection. Okay, so for example, um, if I create another paragraph, which I'm going to go ahead and open up my another document just so that I can get some text. Okay, now copy this, go back to my document. I'm going to paste it here. Okay, so you can see. So let's say I want to compare this formatting type with another selection and my uh, the other selection is this. Okay? And notice as soon as I do this, it shows me first my original selection and then the one that I'm comparing it to. Okay. And on the bottom, it gives me the detail of the comparison. Okay. So for example, the Times New Roman font is used in my original paragraph. And then you see this little arrow here pointing towards another type of font, which is the body Calibri, which is the bottom paragraph here. So whichever font that I would like to select, it compares the two. Same thing with italic and not italic, which means 
that my first half of the paragraph is in italics and I'm going to compare it to my other half it is not italic similarly underline to no underline okay. so very powerful feature when you're comparing indentation borders font this gives you an idea of how to detect errors for example or find out whether you're following certain guidelines or not when while you create tables or you work with advanced formatting okay, so reveal formatting uh, is, a, is a cool feature a very powerful feature in word 13. so i'm going to go ahead and close these windows so quick recap uh, styles group is listed on the ribbon if i need to work with styles i can click on the bottom right arrow or alt shift alt control shift s keyboard shortcut to bring up my style i can set the op set the options take a look at some of the options uh, which we have or i can uh, work on managing styles how to use the style inspector and i can also create a new style that we've seen okay so we're comfortable with working styles what styles are uh, whether at paragraph level font level you can set these styles to work with okay so this will be helpful when you're working with large sets of documents or working with advanced set of features the whole idea is to shorten your work so you want to use styles create additional styles to enhance productivity so i hope you've learned in this tutorial all about styles how to delete styles how to modify create them and use them for a short quiz